What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're not gonna be under the hood of a Power Stroke, but we are gonna be talking about something that is under the hood of a Power Stroke. I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about the CCV box and this special little craft cheese grater. Follow me tonight and we're gonna disassemble this, talk about this, and what you wanna do for your 6.7 Power Stroke. Alright guys, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about this. This is a closed crankcase ventilation box that sits atop your 6.7. This is on the driver's side of the valve cover. Your fuel filter would be sitting right here. Uh, for those of you that do not know, why don't you pause this video and go look? Because you guys got one. Well, maybe some of you guys. Uh, this particular one came off of a 2018 650 750. Uh, the vehicle came in uh, with a little bit low on oil and a turbocharger concern, which I wound up having to replace uh, following the EGR valve. Part of the procedure to remove the turbocharger is to remove the lower intake manifold, and because of this nice fancy one-time use collar connection, the workshop manual has you replace the whole CCV box. Now some of the changes you guys might see with these things sitting side by side is that the left one has bolts and the right one does not. They updated the CCV box to no longer have a serviceable filter. Inside this box is a filter that looks just like this. I'm going to link a video in the description of me actually replacing this on a Lumaduty style truck. Uh, this was version one. They wanted you to replace the CCV box with a green screened filter instead of the purple Barney colored spring filter. Um, and then this was supposed to help alleviate the excessive crankcase pressures. I wish I had, whoa, good catch. I wish I had one of those uh, wrappers, those uh, triple beam scales they are talking about or something like that. I wanna put this on there and weigh this thing. If I were to guess, no bullshit. This thing probably weighs I don't know. What does this weigh? What do you think that weighs? About five, five, six pounds? What's this weigh? What do you think that weighs? Yeah, like five, six pounds. That's okay. It. There is no way that that contraption should weigh that much. Even with the wet filter, this does not have a filter. And it's real light, real floppy, and weighs, I don't know, maybe a pound and a half or two. Very, very light. I am going to we are going to take the top cover off this old CCV box and I want to compare and contrast the filter media. This is a coalescent CCV closed crankcase ventilation filter element. There, there was, and I remember seeing it, a maintenance spec to replace this at 100,000 miles. It has since been changed, and there is not a maintenance spec for this filter. Um, I don't know if they were just done away with these filters because the new CCV boxes do not have filters, and we're just not even using the filters anymore, so why even have a serviceable filter? Because now we have a box that no longer has one. So I think it's time. We're going to need to get an 8 milli. I'm going to quarter drive these 8 millis off. This whole lid, uh, doing it in the truck is a little more uh, cumbersome, uh, especially if you have a, a 250 through 550, a little more tighter. Um, but the 650, 750s, although they are tougher to climb up on, uh, getting to the turbo and the CCV components are a little easier to get to. So let's get this thing ripped off, and I want you to see the difference between the filter that's brand new and obviously a truck that is just idling. Okay, so 8 milli, 
we are going to go around this whole box. Now these bolts are going to be caged in the lid, so they're not going to fall out on you. Go ahead and rip them all out. If anybody's wondering, the four fasteners that hold the box to the valve cover on this particular model were 10 millis. Okay. We are completely loose. Go ahead and pop this up. I have not taken this off prior to me making this video. I wanted to show you guys firsthand what this looks like uh, on a truck that had 80,000 miles and I demerit myself for not looking at the engine. Oh, I have engine hours. I did have engine hours because I made the oil change sticker. We had 2,600 engine hours and that's actually equivalent to, all right, real time. So it had 2,000. 636 engine hours and per Ford engineering one hour of idling is equivalent to 30 miles of driving so if we have that many engine hours times 30 it is about 79,000 um, this truck had 86,000 miles on it so it's actually driving more than it is idling but I find it kind of weird that the filter element is looking like this. Now, I don't know, I've had no history for this vehicle, I don't know how it has been maintained, but I know that the element should not look like this um, at all. Now, again, I have not pulled this out. This is the first time I've removed this. Look how freaking swollen this thing is. I mean, swollen beyond belief. This is just so hard right here, and it almost, it almost feels like I could flake this coalescent element material. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just bare, oh crap. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Look at this just falling apart. What happens if this were to fall apart inside of your engine because you just kept driving and driving and didn't pay attention to the warning signs? Now, here's the new filter. I don't care about this one. This is for demonstration purposes. You guys can obviously tell how not swollen this is. I've never punctured a new filter, but let's see if it comes apart just like that nasty one did. It's definitely, I mean, I'm pushing. It, it now just pierced. It's definitely harder to push in. I'm going to try to, okay, I'm definitely pierced it more. Okay, is it going to flake apart like it is? You guys see me prying on this. I'm not, I'm not fooling you guys. There's no movie magic here. Look at this thing. Look at this. Go to a different spot. Barely pushing. Barely pushed. Look at this. Just coming right apart look the whole side broke apart oh my gosh i don't like this if you have a truck go inspect if you have a truck that has the bolts around the top lid you may want i don't know if your truck is in warranty it's going to be a little more difficult to get that replaced unless you are experiencing a problem but if you do not want to get this scenario ever to happen on your vehicle then you're going to need to go and get the updated ccv box now to the contrary you guys saw the thumbnail and right in the beginning we talked about comparing contrasting the ccv boxes this is spe's new ccv delete AKA the cheese grater, they call it up there on the internets. This, their kit, I, I think, uh, in my opinion, I feel that this is a, a nicely made piece of aluminum. Um, it doesn't look chintzy, flimsy. Um, you can see it, it, it kind of gets narrow at the end, the shape of it. Um, this is actually replacing your CCB box. Now this is this is an emissions component and you're not supposed to be taking emission components off your truck. The gentleman who let me borrow this kit just got a brand new 2021 
King Ranch trimmer in the new blue anti-matter. It is sick. And he uh, reached out to me and showed me this. And I was like, bro, we got to talk about this because I just recently got a bad CCD box at work. And now you're talking about this. And dudes out in the net, out in the world, are going to have this issue. But then they're going to want to know about this. And what not a perfect time to talk about this because in order to eliminate this problem with the filter, you got to get the box that has no filter in it. And you can be totally emissions compliant. Now, obviously, taking the CCV box off, you're not going to be rerouting those CCV gases, those crankcase gases, vapors, uh, into the engine and being reintroduced and, and burned uh, through the engine. This is going to uh, actually is actually going to sit in the valve cover. So when you take the CCV box off, you have two ports. This is the front front of the vehicle. That's the back of the vehicle. Okay. When you take the CCV box off, this cap provided by SPE is going to plug the valve cover and they give you a bolt so you can have that port totally closed off. The back port, when you take this off the valve cover, this is gonna go right in the hole that was in the valve cover. And next, this piece sits on top of this, which they provide you bolts as well. Now the one thing I don't know about, and I haven't yet to see a truck with it, uh, specifically this one, but uh, uh, talking with the customer, I don't know where he is going to route his, but after you put the black piece on the cheese grater, SPE uh, gives you, uh, or sells this hose with the kit. It is very nice rubber hose. I am uh, really impressed with the quality of the hose, but this is what is going to slip on over your topper to your cheese grater. It's actually kind of a design where it's got like a Venturi with um, how it's going to keep the oil vapors or oil droplets rather uh, into the valve cover and not getting that that raw oil uh, going through your line. Um, I've never used this before. Uh, I don't have any uh, research and development in my own mind and words. Um, I do or I have seen a couple of trucks come into the shop with uh, CCV deletes on them, uh, mainly 6.7s, and uh, definitely getting a lot of smoke and stuff coming from underneath the truck. Like, I wouldn't want to smell that. Is this guy with this 21 going to want to smell that too? I don't know. Um, obviously, he's got the kit. Don't think he's going to really care, but uh, this is something I wanted to talk about because it's all been over the internet. I don't know if you guys watched that Modern Diesel quote, Corey. Um, he, his videos popped up when I started doing some research about this, um, and he went into a little more detail with actually putting it on his truck. Um, I've tried to reach out to SPE myself to uh, inquire about their uh, drain valve for the water and fuel separator. I know I had a lot of comments on the video that I made uh, a few weeks back. Um, let me know in the comment section guys if any of you have replaced your CCV box did your old one look like this one that we just took apart where the filter element was actually coming apart or does your truck already have the new style filterless box on take a look educate yourself maybe you do and you don't know check for the bolts if you have the bolts you got the filter. If you don't have the bolts and you're a newer Illuma Duty, then you probably don't have a filter. If you guys are running a CCV Delete, are you guys running the Cheese Grater SPE one, or are you guys running a different brand? Make sure to tell me that in the comment section below. If you guys want to get on the podcast, let me know uh, in my email. I'd love to get you in queue, and maybe we can talk about your power stroke and what you guys have done with it. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll see you guys next Friday.